All right, so here we have the final desk with its coat of dark brown paint. And uh, I'm just getting ready to do the fit for the avionics and the uh, throttle unit and so forth. One thing you might notice, uh, kind of try to show you as I go through here, is I've left it open, left this top box open in the back um, so that I can route cords through there. One of the things I hate is being locked out of any good space to uh, run cables and such. And there are a lot of little USB cables that come along with these uh, various go flight units. Um, also, sorry for the shake, um, what I ended up doing instead of making a little box that goes out here and has my landing gear trim module below my throttles, I decided to just create this one little tongue, put a little tongue of wood here and I can mount the two SciTech throttles right here. And then in this bay, which is a full four inch height, I can add the landing gear trim module right next door to uh, where the, the uh, yoke is going to go. And then have room over here for my other two, I actually have three other go flight units that are half height, two inch. So I'll probably put two here and one here. So anyway, let's do the final fit up and see how it all goes together. All right, this is pretty butt kicking. I got to admit it. You know, this is one of those projects that I uh, planned out fairly meticulously on paper and kept my fingers crossed throughout the construction process. And darn it, if it doesn't look pretty much the way I imagined it. There's been a couple of uh, battlefield tweaks along the way, little things that I fixed up, but I'm pretty happy with it all in all. So you can see we've got your go flight units mounted here in their uh, bays now. A couple of RP, uh, what is that, RP48 units. Got the push buttons and the rotary switches. Got a radio unit here. Com nav, transponder, ADF. And got the uh, Setec yoke mounted nicely right here in the uh, opening meant for it. And just to the immediate right over here, you got your landing gear trim lever, landing gear, got your flap switch, elevated trim, and mounted nicely to the right of them as the throttle unit. And also, for the first time, this is another luxury, I've got uh, throttle or my uh, rudder pedals, and I have screwed them down to the angled baseboard down here, so they aren't going anywhere. They're really solid. I hate that when you're in the middle of flying, you hit the rudder pedals and they go walking across the floor. That's just no good. And you can see around here in the back that all the various cables uh, that come from the uh, go flight units, the yoke, the uh, throttles, rudders, you name it, all coming out right here on the side. I'll bundle them together nicely probably mount a, a hub right here on the side and then the computer slides right in next to this thing and voila we have ourselves a simple but very functional virtual cockpit yeah that ought to be a good time